guys, I'm Melanie from Hot Topic and you're watching the Venom Vlog. Hey Parasites, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and today we have our first piece of potential casting news for Venom 3, which is really awesome. A big shout out to Eddie's Mullet who sent this over to me. This is from Deadline. Deadline posted today that there is uh, negotiations, possibly final negotiations, for Juno Temple, an amazing actress who I'm a huge fan of, who is currently in the show Ted Lasso, which is wrapping up with its final season, and that show's been a big hit. So this seems like this could be the franchise that she goes into after Ted Lasso is over, and this could be her next big film that she makes. So this is really cool, because like I said, she's a tremendous actress. I've seen her in a lot of movies. She's very awesome, very talented lady, and it's cool that they're bringing her into this role. But what role is it? We actually don't know. <laughs> we just know that there's nothing super final yet, but it's looking good that she might end up in Venom 3 in a significant role. So that got my wheels turning, and I'm sure it got a lot of your wheels turning, of who could she be? Like, who? what character could she play? Will they do, like, a female version of Null? Um, Eddie's Mullet said maybe she's playing Liz Allen, and they're going to set up Alchemex, which is cool, because then we can get an anti-Venom scene, which is something I've wanted to see in the movies for sure. Um, but it also, to, you know, connects that to the Spider-Verse movies, uh, because obviously Alchemex was in the first Spider-Verse movie, and it'll be in the second one as well with Spider-Man 2099. So it could be that, you know, as well. Uh, I thought, hey, maybe it'll way to tie it into the first movie because typically trilogies do that. Maybe, you know, Liz Allen or whoever, you know, Juno's playing, maybe she's a new character they make up. Maybe she comes in and she bought the Life Foundation. You know, she's acquiring other companies that are falling under. And maybe she bought the Life Foundation and found some of their notes about the symbiotes and kind of knows who Venom is and is, you know, recreates uh, Life Foundation as Alchemex or something. Who knows? There's a, a lot of million theories, and I'm sure all of our theories are probably wrong because it's way too early to really speculate, but I think it's kind of fun, you know, to, to speculate, even if we end up being wrong. Um, there's just so many possibilities, though. Uh, Eddie also said maybe she's playing, like, a, a version of Scream or Agony, and all of those are possibilities, of course. Or she could just be a regular character that just is in the movie. Uh, because we have been wrong. A lot of these characters, we see actors like, you know, they got Scott Hayes and stuff. And we're like, oh man, you know, he was really good in this movie. I wonder who's going to play in this. And he's just like a thug, you know, just like a goon for, you know, the Life Foundation. So that could happen as well. <laughs> so we don't know, obviously, anything right now other than that she's in potential fi final negotiations for this role or for a role in Venom 3. And that just gets me excited because it's like when they first cast uh, Michelle Williams, they were saying like, oh, she's going to play, you know, be in the movie. And we were saying, oh, she's going to play Anne Wang. And we were speculating. It was just cool, you know, whether whoever she played, I was just glad she was in the movie because I think she's a tremendous actress also. So to see Juno come in and play a role in this movie gets me more excited for this movie. And it makes me wonder exactly who she's going to play. So what do you think? I know it's way too early to speculate, but if you had to speculate on something, you know, one or two guesses, let me know down in the comments and we'll keep talking down there. Yeah, because I went through the King in Black handbook and I was like, oh, who could she be? You know, and then I was joking with Eddie's Mullet. I'm like, maybe she's going to play the Big Mother. If you don't remember Big Mother, she was in Scream, the book that came out by McLeod was the writer of that book and uh, did a really good job. Actually did a really creepy version of her and she was connected to Noel. She was like a servant of Noel and the mother of the Grendel. And it's actually funny because there's an interview with Tom when he was uh, doing an interview for Let There Be Carnage and someone brought up the Grendel and he thought they said Grundel. And he's like, Grundle, that's a symbiote name? We gotta put Grundle, because obviously Grundle's a, a word for taint or gooch. Um, and uh, he said, oh, that's great. That's What a great name for uh, symbiote. We gotta put that in the next movie. So uh, I wonder if he actually, even though he was joking about Grundle, when he found out it was actually Grendel, if, if they did any research and was like, oh, we could do a version of Grendel in this next movie. Um, it, I don't know. We'll see. Because Avi Arad has talked about in the past that the idea of invasion has never really gone away. That, you know, in the first movie, they were setting up Riot, bringing, you know, Venom to Earth along with other symbiotes. And the plan was to lie low, you know, inhabit the planet for a little bit, see what they can do, see if there was enough, you know, uh, sources of food and everything here. And once they realized there was, they were going to take the Life Foundation ship back to space and bring an army of symbiotes back to Earth. So there's still the concept that that may be the story if Avi Arad has his way. 
but we do know that uh, Kelly Marcel, who wrote the first two movies, uh, and you know the second one with Tom, is write, writing this one with Tom, and she's directing it. So I imagine she's going to really have a vision of what they want to do, her and Tom. So it'll depend, you know, whether Avi has influence on this movie, which he'll probably have some as a producer. But I want to see what Kelly and Tom really do if they cut loose. And now with her directing, I really want to see what they're capable of, uh, you know, with Tom as a producer and a writer and her as a writer and a director. Uh, I think that's really great. And I think she's producing it as well. So I'm excited. I, you know, I'm, I'm getting more jazzed for this. I knew we were going to get some movie news soon, but I just didn't know we were going to get some potential casting news this soon. So that's exciting. I'm glad they're starting out with Juno Temple and kind of, you know, getting us our wheels turning. But I can't wait to see what news they drop next. So in the meantime, again, let me know your thoughts down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And it's good to be back, baby. See you in the future. Peace.